I'm studying the neuroscience behind the grasshopper's ability to quickly jump away when it sees an approaching object, like a predator. Their visual system includes um, a type of neuron called the Descending Contralateral Motion Detector Neuron, or DCMD for short. This neuron receives visual information from the eyes and then sends the information to the motor neurons and activates the leg muscles so that the grasshopper can see an approaching object and jump away to avoid colliding with it. Here I have a grasshopper caught here in Ann Arbor. It's anesthetized in the fridge for 15 minutes. So now we're going to tape it down on the corkboard piece on the striker box, exposing um, the head and a little bit of the thorax where we, we, we will be placing the electrodes. I'm using a thread to pull the head back because I will place a recording electrode into the neck of the grasshopper where the axon of the DCMD is and we can record its activity there using the spiker box amplifier. This is a hook electrode made from the manipulator, manipulator uh, electrode and it's placed in a micro manipulator that can ensure a more pre precise electrode placement. Using a little pin, I will make an incision in the neck of the grasshopper. And that little incision is where the electrode will be placed. Then the reference electrode is grounded in the thorax. I also have a mixture of uh, wax and rosin here on a magnetic stirrer that melted them together. This one I'm going to place uh, on the thread so that it keeps that thread holding back the neck of the grasshopper secure and in place for the experiment. Otherwise it's going to move and we'll get muscle activities in our recordings. Okay, just a few dabs and now the prep is done. Make sure that nothing is blocking the eye of the grasshopper. This is the eye where the visual stimulus will be shown. Now that the prep is done, we can begin the experiment. I'm using the iPad Spike Recorder app to record the DCMD activity, and we can also listen to it using the Radio, speak, uh, radio Shack speaker. On the screen, there will, there will be black balls expanding to simulate an object approaching the grasshopper's eye. So theoretically, the DCMD neuron will be very active in spike before the object hits the grasshopper, or in this case, when the black ball fills up the whole screen. Uh, so let's see if we can hear some spikes. Continue. And that's a spike.